Hello, my name is Chris, and you are watching VSense. We're going to be doing a gift guide for the holidays. I know we're all approaching the holidays. It is coming up, you know, people are going to want fragrances and what's the best way to figure out which fragrance to get from each fragrance house. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Chanel uh, and in specific, we're going to be talking to the Coco Mademoiselle line. I have two fragrances here that are from Chanel. The ones that we're talking about today are Coco Mademoiselle, the Eau de Parfum Intense. This is a newer launch. This launched about two to three years ago. I actually worked for the brand whenever this was brand new. Um, this is a very nice scent. It is one of the top selling fragrances. Actually, to, to correct that, Coco Mademoiselle is actually the top selling fragrance worldwide, actually beating its own fragrance, number five. And we're talking about this one just because this is a more intense version. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, what about Privé? Because I also do have here the original one, the Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum. I don't have the Eau de Toilette here, and I do not have the uh, Privé one as well, because they are there, but, you know, I'm trying to keep it, you know, a little bit simplistic, so we're going to compare both of these fragrances to see which one is a little bit better, which one's going to be worth your money, and which one will be right for the person you are trying to get. So starting off with Coco Mademoiselle, the Eau de Parfum, this is the original one, the OG. Coco Mademoiselle is actually its own line now so it's its own product line its own SKU line with chanel but it originally came out from the coco line so you have coco the eau de parfum and then you have coco mademoiselle that was supposed to be a flanker of that fragrance house or that fragrance line i should say and this is what we got you know this is a very nice scent it's very feminine you know both of these are feminine fragrances but this one is very feminine it is ultra soft it is ultra it's, it has floral touches woody notes um but it's a very soft powdery fragrance at the same time and what i mean by that it's very much to the chanel dna of a fragrance so if anyone has smelled Chanel fragrances, you know, a lot of people will have that comment that they're old ladylike. Um, and although Coco Mademoiselle can be a little bit more on the mature side, I have seen literally people that are 15, 16, 17 wanting this fragrance um, because it is so versatile. It doesn't have a set range of age to it. So this one was launched in 2001 by Jacques Polge. The price for the 3.4 ounce bottle, which is this size, or 100 mils, would be $146. Um, so that's not too bad. You know, it's a little bit more expensive than, you know, other fragrances that you can get. And I typically see fragrances now costing $120 for 3.4, at least in the mainstream line of fragrances. So this one, like I said, is $146 for that cost. But you're getting quite a substantial fragrance here. The reason I say it's substantial is because this fragrance is going to be long lasting. Is it going to be a beast of a fragrance or super, super long lasting where you wash your clothes and you still smell it the next day? Probably not, but it is going to have longevity. It is going to have sillage. It is going to have trail. It's going to have performance. Uh, anywhere from six to seven hours, maybe eight hours if you decide to go for the lotion. Um, so yeah, this one is one of those really good staple fragrances that I think absolutely everyone can enjoy. Um, in fact, if this is a fragrance that you're looking at getting for Christmas, I would definitely get it earlier on, uh, and I would avoid gift sets. The reason I say that's because Chanel has this thing, and they've done this since I worked for them, they've done it before me, they've done it after I worked for them, they will package this beautiful bottle in a box and then they'll throw a lotion or a twist and spray per spray of Coco Mademoiselle and then they will add the box. So you're paying for the bottle, you're paying for whatever's in the, bo in the box with the bottle itself. Uh, and then you're paying for the box, like two to three dollars additional. If you are wanting to do that, you can definitely, I would say, ask your department store person or as someone at the Chanel Boutique, wherever you're purchasing this at, I would definitely say, hey, can you give me a box for free? Can you package it for me? 
And you're gonna get the same thing, but you're gonna get it at a lot lower of a cost. So definitely check this guy out. I definitely think that it's a really good scent. The fragrance notes for this are bergamot and orange at the top, tangerine and orange blossom. So we have a very light, airy top spray to it, you know? The thing about Chanel though is I will read you the notes and I will give you all my, you know, thoughts and process on the scent itself. But I will say that with Chanel, you can see notes in the actual breakdown and not, you know, realize that they're there at all because Chanel is one of those fragrance houses that uses quite a hefty amount of notes. And then you spray it and you're like, I don't see roses in there at all. Or I don't, <laughs> I don't see any of this in there. And that's because they use quite a bit of, it's a very unique, you know, fragrance making for the house of Chanel. And, and it's been this way ever since they've come out because that's just how Chanel rolls with the punches. So um, yeah, you do get very light, very citrusy notes at the top. And, you know, it does come out very soft, very light. Like I said, this fragrance is very unique because although it has a floral feminine touches to it, it also has those, like I said, light, airy, powdery notes. And to be honest with you, I definitely do think that Coco Mademoiselle, and I'm sorry, mine is all messed up. Coco Mademoiselle as a scent itself is one of those things that is very hard to replicate. I've seen people and I've seen fragrances that are quote unquote dupes. And although they come close, it's not quite the same as this because it is such a unique fragrance. It's then we have this guy, which is the Eau de Parfum Intense. This is a very deceiving name for me, and I have always thought this since I launched this fragrance when it first came out. Coco Mademoiselle is not a very long or very strong scent per se. It's not a very like poof in your face. If you spray it, it can be a little bit heavy. Coco Mademoiselle does have those like nice powdery woody notes at the base of it, and they both have very much a very similar composition. Again, they are flankers of one another which essentially means that they're going to smell very similar. The DNA is going to be there at the end of the day. And it is very much the case with these two. The difference is that this one is called Coco Mademoiselle Intense, Eau de Parfum Intense. You think, oh, they're going to add more spice. They're going to add more woodsiness. They're going to add more of a, you know, deep element into the fragrance. They don't uh, at all. So you might get a little bit more longevity, and that's a maybe based on, you know, your composition of your skin and everything like that. The thing about this fragrance is that it's a lot lighter than the Eau de Parfum. So the Eau de Parfum Intense has a lot more citric notes at the top. It has a lot more of a clean element at the top. Um, th like I said, the scent is there. The DNA is there. They're both Coco Mademoiselle. There's not, you know, any kind of, you know, confusion with that, but it is more of a lighter fragrance, at least when it comes to having those traditionally lighter notes as, you know, bergamot, mandarin, citrus, anything like that. That's what makes this a little bit lighter. It does have more of a bit of a rosy heart to it. So you do get Coco Mademoiselle with a little bit more, you know, light zestiness and a little bit of rose at the top. And that's what makes this a little bit different. Um, but again, like I said, whenever you see the name, it's very deceiving. I would definitely check this out. If you, for example, go into the store and you're like, huh, I want to smell Coco Mademoiselle and you smell it, you're like, yeah, that's too strong because there's some people out there that might think it's strong. I would definitely recommend smelling the Eau de Parfum Intense because although you see the name, you're going to be like, oh, this is not stronger. This is lighter. Uh, it is a lot more wearable. So Definitely check this guy out if you do not like the original one because you might like the lighter elements that this one has to offer. Um, this is $156 in the US for a 100 ml or 3.4 ounce bottle. So it is $10 more, but that is up to you based on you know your nose. And if you are looking for a fragrance that someone might like and you want something traditional, then I would definitely go for this guy. If you want something that's a little bit newer, this was launched in 2018. By the way, the perfumer for this is Olivier Polge, which is Jacques Polge's son. So the dad made this one, the son made this one. Uh, and I would definitely say that out of both of them, my favorite is going to be the classic. This one's really good. This one's really nice. And the packaging on this one's beautiful too, because it has like this cardboard, 
insert that is the shape of the bottle. Definitely check this guy out, like I said, if you want something that's lighter, more airy, more modern, because it is newer, you know? There is a 17 year difference whenever both of these were launched, so there is gonna be quite a bit of a difference there, so yeah. What do you guys think about this range? Do you like Coco Mademoiselle? Have you smelt it? What are you gifting your loved ones this Christmas? Is it gonna be anything good? Are they not getting anything? Or are they getting coal? Who knows? Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and share the video if you like it. Thanks so much for watching. You've been watching.